So by now, if you haven't already, you're probably going to be wondering what this means. We've always used public, but there's actually uh, three uh, scopes of visibilities in total. Uh, let's list them up here. We have public, we have protected, and we have private. And I'm going to demonstrate each of these to you. So let's start with these. I'm going to change these to protected. And inside our penguin class, I'm just going to create a new method. And I'm just going to call this foo since this is just a test. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to echo this leg count. So I'm referring to this property. And like I said in the last uh, tutorial, every subclass, i.e. a class that inherits another class, inherits all of its properties. So this should work fine. So checking up, oh, we didn't call the method. Penguin foo. And we get two, which is fine. That's expected. However, if we were to change this to private, we get undefined property penguin leg count. And that's because when we set a property or methods visibility to private, only the class that it's in can access them. So you see down here, we're returning this leg count. That's fine because this method is in this class. But here we're getting an error because this penguin class is a totally separate class, even though it's a subclass. Now protected means that subclasses, i.e. classes that can that inherit the class, they can access them, so this will be fine. However, if we try to access this this property from outside of the subclass, so penguin leg count, we, we get cannot access protected property penguin leg count. However, if we change this to public, hit refresh, and I didn't echo it, we get two, which is great. And this also works with methods. So if we change this to private, and we say, if penguin can fly, and we'll just do something here, hit refresh, and we get called to private method bird can fly. And the same with protected. Call to protected method bird can fly. So we have to keep this at public to allow our our developers to use this outside of the subclass. And that's why we use getters and setters as well. So we can access the properties that are set to protected and private without having an issue.